Today we're going to be busting some of the biggest myths about snakes. There are so many misconceptions about snakes out there. And it's time to set the record straight. Myth number one, that snakes are slimy. Have you ever heard somebody say that? It looks slimy. It, it, does. it does. Does it? Actually it's not. Uh, nice, it's like a leather skin. Leather. Yeah, and if you feel under here, here. Oh, wow. Ooh, different, right? Go ahead, guys, check that out. Oh, yeah. Interesting, right? That is yeah. so cool. A little bit of education goes a long way. Oh, God, Bill, this is amazing. Out. This is Look the first it. time oh, ever in my it. life I'm holding oh, God, a snake. Your, your profile pic. Oh, that is totally false. As you see, our two headed California king snake. Ben and Jerry. His scales actually almost feel like leather. Their scales are super smooth and dry. No slime here. Ah, Black Bob is the fastest snake right up to 12 miles per hour. These snakes are freaky fast, just like Jimmy John's delivery, not sponsored. Quite literally, they're one of the most scary snakes to mess with because they will fly out of their container, land, strike, strike, strike. If you fall down, you're gonna be knocking on heaven's gates. Wait, what, dude? I can barely hear you. I said all snakes are venomous and dangerous. That's a myth. Actually, many snakes are not venomous at all. And take our girl Ivy, our green anaconda here, for instance. It has no venom and actually relies on constriction to catch its prey. But that's not all. While some snakes are venomous, many are completely harmless to humans. Anacondas are powerful. <laughs> but they pose no venomous threat to humans. And you see our Gemacincta right there, a mangrove snake. It's mildly venomous. I actually bit Mike the other day. Today we're messing with some mangrove snakes. <laughs> oh, oh. We're off to a great start. And see, even a mildly venomous snake. He bit Mike, no reaction whatsoever. Just keep that in mind. That's a myth. Not all snakes are venomous. Some snakes are actually like possums where they'll actually play dead to escape their predators. And I don't really get it, but I guess it worked out for them. Guys, I gotta show you this. This is so cool. Look at this baby hog goes. If I touch it, it'll literally roll over and it'll play dead. So you see it, they're playing dead right there, but it's not just the look, it's not just the tongue, but they'll actually release some sort of musk, which smells like rotting flesh. So that that predator goes, ugh, that thing's been dead. And it's been dead for quite a while. There is a bigger and better animal conference than Animal Con. False. There's nothing bigger or better than Animal Con. Get your tickets in the link in the description. Code SAD. S-N-A-Z. No, don't give me No. Myth number three, that snakes will chase you. That's actually false. One likely snakes will try to avoid you rather than chase you. You see here, Maisie, our corn snake, is just trying to find a spot here to relax. She doesn't want to mess with us at all. Our anaconda verde, she's actually more interested in finding food and shelter than she is like attacking or chasing humans. Not how it works. Fact, you can get your merch over at thereptilearmy.com. Many snakes are actually excellent swimmers and can hunt fish and amphibians. And look at this black mamba literally walking across, well, I guess crawling across or slithering across this water like it's nothing. Myth, snakes are aggressive. She's super aggressive. Why did I get geared up for this one? She's not even aggressive. He's gonna get me, he's gonna get me. Oh wait, this is just hungry. I'm hungry too, can we get food? Back, back. Back. Oh, hi, Sunfire. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, you little baby. She's not aggressive neither. What is happening? All snakes are aggressive, dude. I'm just getting prepared. All snakes are not aggressive. Just wait until he handles midnight. It's scary. Yeah, dude, this one's so scary. I can't use gloves. I have to use my finger. Midnight? Oh, oh he's, gonna, he's gonna get me. It's just that Mexican black king snake. Okay, Michael, excuse me. First off, all snakes are not aggressive. Some snakes might be defensive, but midnight here is none of those things. What is wrong with you today? I thought it was a noodle. He's cute though. Not aggressive. Can we get food now? Fact. Helen here is a snake that cannot see, but sea snakes can hold their breath for up to two hours while diving. I can't, so I don't know if that's true, but that's what the internet says. Number five is that snakes are extra dangerous when in shed. And I'm not gonna lie, Brigitte is in shed right now, so I am trembling. No, it is pretty incorrect. The truth is, is that snakes, when they're going in the shed or in their blue state, bruh, oh my gosh, she's getting so big. Let me get this thing on my shoulders. Or when they're going into their blue state, they're actually not more aggressive or more defensive at all. You do wanna handle them a little bit more carefully, but you wanna be even more careful actually when they start to break shed. So even while she's at this blue state still, I'm safe to handle her. I'm okay to touch her. She is perfectly fine. But once she starts to break shed, that's kind of when I'm gonna leave her alone, let her do her own thing and then maybe help her out with the silk if she needs it. Ugh. 
Whoa, whoa. Stay there, boy. Stay there. Now, Eastern Diamondbacks right here, they're actually one of the heaviest venomous snakes in all the Americas. Gotta be careful right here. Just joking. Uh, it's just a toy. And there you go, guys. So, I wanted to step back and explain exactly why were we filming this video? Why were we busting these myths? And that is for a few reasons, right? Snakes can be very misunderstood, especially in the public. You know, a lot of times, maybe someone's mom got bit by a gardener snake when she was a little girl, and then now she's terrified, and she spreads it on through generation and generation. People are scared. Oh my God, is it gonna bite me? Is it slimy? I mean, there's just so many misconceptions, and. And those misconceptions can lead to, to, to the death of many snakes and to the lives of, of reptiles. It, it's, it's really quite a shame, you know. Someone will see a, a snake in their backyard and they might grab a shovel and, and chop its head off. And that's something that we want to prevent because it's just completely not necessary and actually bad for our ecosystem. And that's actually one of the messages that my dad, Brian Barczyk, was so fond of and really wanted to share encapsulated because it's actually conservation through entertainment and education, right? So if we, we gave you guys a little bit of entertainment, gave you guys a little bit of education, and now we can you guys can take that into your own lives, pass on to your friends and family to conserve the lives of these beautiful animals. And also, that was five myths, guys, and five pretty simple, silly myths, right? And they speak, they speak volumes of what people actually believe and look at this girl, she's just climbing up. I mean, it's amazing the strength that boa constrictors have, but you know what it is? It's actually our responsibility. Us as in reptile keepers, reptile lovers, reptile entertainers and educators. It's our job to teach the public. The vast majority of snakes aren't gonna kill you. All they want is their space respected. And whenever there's an occasional bite, right, of a venomous snake out there, what happens? Someone's hiking, right, and they accidentally step onto the space of the snake and the snake gets scared. It's not that, what, what, is, a, what is a rattlesnake gonna do? It's, is it gonna eat a human being? No, that's, it doesn't even make sense. It's just gonna bite you because it's scared and then run away. Just wanted to step in here and, and share actual personalized message to maybe any of the new people, maybe some kids that popped in here that don't really know much about snakes or even adults that are like, hey, what's this interesting video about busting snake myths? Like, what even are myths about snakes? So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below and let me know what myth you have heard that you're like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe that people believe that, right? And look at, she's using her tail. <laughs> to hang on to me. Snakes are so freaking cool. There you have it guys. Five snake myths that got busted right there. I hope this helped you get a little bit of enlightenment through that brain to realize that snakes aren't dangerous. They're actually very cool. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you are updated on our next video and we will see you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.